Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing 24 hours eating Halloween slash autumn themed new in foods. I was just going to do a taste test because I spotted a few different things I wanted to try and then I kind of realised that they made up a whole day of eating anyway. So going to eat them for the whole day, share my thoughts. There's definitely a couple of things that I'm slightly apprehensive to try. The first one actually being the thing that I picked up for breakfast this morning. So this is the Shreddies limited edition pumpkin spice flavor. Now I definitely have like a love hate relationship with pumpkin spice. I just can't seem to make up my mind about it. I tried the pumpkin spice latte last year from Starbucks and like the first sip I had I enjoyed. The next sip I had I didn't enjoy and then I tried the pumpkin spice frappuccino this year and that really wasn't my thing so I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this. I feel like in this form it might not be so bad because I feel like it's gonna be quite like diluted. I'm not sure how strong they can get the flavour on some shreddies but I'm excited to give them a go. These are obviously vegan. I think they're just gonna be pretty much standard shreddies with the flavouring on. So these could be quite a good autumn breakfast. I'm also a huge fan of cereal as a snack and I feel like if I enjoy the flavour of these, this is going to be like a great snacking cereal. Okay, they smell quite subtle. They definitely smell like shreddies with like a hint of pumpkin spice. So I feel like I might enjoy these. I don't know if it's a good idea trying this plain first. Mmm. Oh, that is really good. That basically just tastes like the normal frosted shreddies with like a hint of pumpkin spice mainly like cinnamon I think. I actually don't know what are the spices that make up pumpkin spice but I feel like this is going to be really good. I feel like the flavour is even more subtle with milk. You definitely get less of the pumpkin spice flavour when you eat it normally like a bowl of cereal with milk. I can literally barely taste it so I'm gonna let it sit for a little while, marinade in the milk and see if that changes anything. I want to know what the milk is going to taste like because I feel like that's like an important element when you have a bowl of cereal. But otherwise I'm pretty impressed with these. I would definitely buy them again, I would definitely recommend them. I picked these up in Lidl and I think they were like £1.99 which I feel like is pretty standard and actually is probably quite good for like a gimmicky item. So. I would recommend. This is definitely not super strong with the milk but I'm gonna enjoy it either way. I'm gonna finish the rest of this bowl and I'll show you guys what I picked up for lunch. I feel like I'm gonna be eating lunch very shortly because I'm having a very late breakfast this morning but I'll show you guys what I picked up. It has been maybe like 15 minutes since I finished breakfast. My hair is literally still damp but I'm gonna have lunch because like I mentioned I had a very late breakfast this morning and also I wouldn't normally have just like a bowl of cereal. Not super filling so I'm going to move on to my next meal of the day which is going to be these crumpets. I feel like it wouldn't be like an eating a certain themed food video without a themed crumpet. So I've got these ghosts, these are from Asda, they're just super cute and I love crumpets at the best of times. So I'm very happy to have this as a lunch option. I'm gonna have one with cheese I think as like a savoury crumpet and then I also picked up a spread from Lidl that I'm gonna try which I'm also a little bit nervous about so this is spiced cookie and pumpkin flavoured spread. This was from Lidl I think it was like $1.99 and it was in their like American section so I think this is essentially like Biscoff crossed with pumpkin spiced. So again could be one of those things I love or hate. I do love Biscoff but I wouldn't generally have it on bread. I would normally just like eat it out of the jar. I'm not really like a huge sweet person on toast although I do like Nutella but I feel like I have to be in the right mood for that. So I'm gonna try this on a crumpet see how it tastes. I actually can't deal. This is so cute. I feel like I ought to give this a try by itself first. It doesn't smell too strong of anything. It definitely has like a Biscoffy smell. Okay, are we ready for like the satisfying first dip? Ooh. Hmm, that is very similar to the cereal in the sense that it's really not that strong at all. Like the main flavour of that is just Biscoff and then you get a slight hint of pumpkin spice. Again, that is really, really good. I'm not sure if it's like quite on like branded Biscoff level. But I would recommend trying this. If you like Biscoff, you like pumpkin spice things, get yourself to Lidl because that that's pretty good. I feel like this could be used in some sort of baked good and it'd be amazing. If you guys have any like recipe ideas, please leave them in a the comment below because I feel like you could definitely make something really good with this. Okay, so I couldn't be bothered to add cheese, but I've got a butter and marmite crumpet, which in my opinion is the best combination on a crumpet. If you guys have any like fun crumpet toppings, let me know that down in a comment below as well because... I'm obsessed but I honestly think you can't beat like a good old classic. 
I've then got one that's got half butter and half of the spread because as much as I like it, I don't think it's going to be my thing on a crumpet. I just think it's just a bit much. It's a bit like claggy to then put on bread, but I don't know. I'm going to give that one a try. Mm. Okay, to be fair, it's not as weird as I thought it was going to be. I actually quite like that. I feel like the sweet with the savoury works quite nicely. Also, I feel like the most important thing with like a crumpet topping is that it's something that will go through the holes. And this definitely has, so it ticks that box. Yeah, I definitely recommend giving both of those things a go. It has been a couple of hours since lunch, so I'm going to have an afternoon coffee and I've just baked some cinnamon rolls. I will leave the recipe down below because they are literally the best vegan cinnamon rolls ever. And I feel like cinnamon rolls count as like an autumn themed food. I mean, it's not necessarily like a new in food that I'm trying, but I was planning on baking those anyway today and I feel like I can just about fit them into the theme of this video. So I'm gonna have one of those and then I'm gonna try this coffee. So this is the Beanie's Toasted Marshmallow Flavoured Instant Coffee. Now, a little bit nervous to try this one because I tried one of their flavours at Christmas and it was honestly the most disgusting thing ever. Well, actually, I think the coffee was not as bad as like the syrup that I tried. Basically, when I ate mince pie flavoured foods, I tried a few questionable things. So I feel like this one can't be as bad, but I definitely feel like artificial flavours can be pretty hit or miss. So I'm going to make this just a standard cup of coffee. Went out and bought milk, especially because I somehow had managed to run out of milk. And then I'm going to have that with one of the cinnamon rolls and it's going to be the perfect little afternoon pick me up. Coffee definitely has quite a strong smell. I didn't actually put too much in and I've made it quite milky because it's slightly later in the afternoon than I would normally have a coffee. And I'm thinking of my future self trying to sleep later, but I'm gonna give this a try. That is not actually that bad at all. The flavor's really subtle. It's definitely not sweet in any way. So I think I'd probably still add my normal sweetener to this, but I am almost a fan, I would say. I don't think I'd go out of my way to get flavored coffee, but out of all the ones I've tried, which is literally two, this one is definitely significantly nicer than the last one. Yeah, I mean, considering what my expectation was going into this, this is like miles better than I thought it was gonna be. So I think I'd give that like a solid six and a half, seven out of 10 maybe. I've gone for like the two little runts of the cinnamon rolls, you know, like the ends that you chop off and probably shouldn't cook because they're really nothingy, but I decided to cook anyway. I'm gonna bring the rest of them into work tomorrow. So I figured I should eat these ones. So good. Honestly, when they're like proper hot out of the oven, nothing beats them. I would definitely normally add like some sort of icing to the top of these, but I haven't made one just yet and I really wanted to try them while they were still warm. So I'm gonna go enjoy these. I'm gonna finish my coffee and then I'll show you guys what I have for dinner. It is now dinner time and I am very excited with what I found for dinner this evening. Lidl definitely came through on the Halloween things. So I've got this Halloween pasta. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but there's like little pumpkins, there's bats. I think there might be like spiders and things in here things that i don't even know what they're meant to be but essentially it's pasta it's purple it's orange and it's in spooky shapes so i feel like what more could you really want from a halloween dinner so i'm going to boil this up and then i'm going to make some sort of sauce to go with it for some reason i've been fancying like the old school vegan mac and cheese so this might not make a lot of sense to people that weren't on like old vegan youtube but back when people tried to pass off like blended carrots and potatoes as like mac and cheese and tried to claim it was as good as normal mac and cheese when it never was so i don't know why i've suddenly got a craving for that i think i've been watching like too many mac and cheese videos this evening but it has inspired me to make some sort of creamy vegetable -y pasta sauce so i'm gonna boil up a sweet potato blend that. I've got some nutritional yeast. So again, kind of old school vegan. I don't really use nutritional yeast all that often anymore. Generally I'll stick to like good old vegan cheese alternatives, but this should be a nice healthier option. I've roasted some garlic in the oven. So I've got like a whole clove of garlic to use. I think I'm gonna blend it up with like soy milk, some cashew nut butter, a bunch of different seasonings and things and make sort of like a orangey, pumpkin inspired but actually using sweet potato creamy sauce i'm definitely not going to claim it's a cheese sauce don't know how people got away with that in the past but it's going to be some sort of some sort of pasta sauce we'll see how it turns out i'm just going to really wing it and throw things into the blender taste it as i go and hope for the best but that is going to be at dinner this evening okay so i've really just kind of piled a little bit of everything in here it definitely doesn't look too pretty at the moment 
I've got some nutritional yeast, I've got about half of the bulb of roasted garlic, there's some passata, some salt and pepper, sweet potato and then soy milk and also some cashew nut butter as well. Definitely a little bit of an experiment but I'm going to blend this up and see how it tastes. Considering this was like a complete experiment, I feel like I've nailed reaching the kind of thing I was after. It is super smooth, super creamy and it's a good like Halloween-y colour as well. Thought I ought to show the pasta before I cover it in sauce but it literally looks so cool. Added some vegan cheese and this is what my dinner looks like this evening. Not gonna lie, that pasta was a lot more filling than I expected. I think I didn't really take into consideration the fact that the sauce was like a lot denser than most pasta sauces I normally have. Like there was obviously like a whole potato in there, cashew nut butter, etc. So it was very filling and I don't feel particularly hungry for dessert. But I did pick something up, so I'm gonna give it a try anyway. The thing that I picked up are these Serene Toffee Apple Mini Loaves. So these are obviously like the Halloween version. I have tried like the normal Serene loaves before, like the malt loaves, not for a very long time, but I've definitely not tried this flavor before. I don't know if it's new specifically this year for Halloween. They did also have another one, I think it was like orange and something flavoured maybe but I thought these sounded interesting. They come in little individually wrapped loaves which will be really good for like snacks and things. I'm really hoping I enjoy this because I feel like this will be a good afternoon work snack if I like it. Oh it smells interesting. Also I forgot to say earlier I actually enjoyed that coffee way more in the end than I thought I was gonna enjoy it. Like I would increase my rating to probably like an 8 out of 10 didn't even add any sugar and I drank the whole thing, which is not like me for just like plain coffee. So actually pretty happy with that. But this just reminded me of it because it has like that kind of artificial smell to it. If you've not tried one of these before, the texture is so weird. It's like so, so squishy. I have to say, I feel like I prefer like the normal one to this. With the normal one, I'd normally have it with butter. I don't know if that's a kind of vibe that everyone does. I definitely don't think this flavour would go with butter. It's not super strong. I think it's the toffee that I'm not really vibing with, but also it's not awful. I would give this maybe like a 6 out of 10. Definitely going to eat the rest of them, but I wouldn't repurchase them. But that is the last thing that I'm trying in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If there's any other like themed videos you want me to try, definitely leave them in a comment down below. But otherwise, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!